G'day guys, Gordon at Blue Tongue Industries. Just wanted to show you our latest project and I'll flick the camera around and that is a V4 Thermopure installation into a trailer. Uh, this particular system is mounted in this custom built trailer which is uh, payload about 1.4 tonne. Um, quite a nice looking trailer. I'll give you a look in the front. So being a thermo-pure system, it does require a diesel input. So normally in a van, we'd drop that into the tank. So it does have a, a separate diesel tank, um, fluid indicator there. Uh, tank size on this is 600. It can be up to a thousand litre. So depending on the payload of the van or trailer, take you around. Um, 240 volt power input and the reason for that is to supply power to the fast fill pump as well as supply power to the battery charger. I've just fired up the heat exchanger, well the thermo pure system and um, I wasn't sure if you could pick up on the audible noise there but without water flow it was going into uh, quiet mode. So it uh, does get quite hot quite quick Additional optional upgrades to this particular system is dual heat exchanger. This one only has a single heat exchanger, but you can split two poles off that system uh, if we up the flow all the way to the 99. But the, the, the idea is to conserve water. You've got your, in this particular case, 600 litres. It can be 1,000 litres. And you need to get in and get out and, and do that window cleaning, whether residential or commercial and not plug into someone's water or power through the day. So once you've made the water, and that does require 240 volt inlet or a 2 kVA generator, the delivery of the system is 12 volt. So it does have a battery in the back. Uh, we've put a 120 amp hour battery in the back, so that drives the two pumps, and that battery is charged by a CTEC charger in the top of the unit, um, if you can see it on, in the top there. So that CTEC charger is powered by 240 volt to keep that battery uh, topped up through the day. So if this was in a van, um, the additional charge of a split isolator when the van is operating would also keep that battery charged. So it is reliant on you plugging that in daily to make water, running the CTEC charger, which is all automated, uh, and we'll keep that battery charged. You can hear the uh, heater murmuring away underneath, so it does get quite hot. Uh, we have two additional taps which just control our water flow overboard. To run you through the control panel, a battery indicator gauge, our on off switch for our heater, our winter summer switch which is hotter and hotter, our meter, glycol tank at the top, Two pump controllers, being two 12 volt pumps, a inline TDS meter which gives us the TDS of the water coming out of the DI, but also the water going into the DI, so it's an indication of your RO performance. Water temperature is just hitting uh, just below 60 there, so we'll probably push that up high 60s. Uh, system pressure, we'll probably bump that up. This is our first test to fill this particular unit. Um, and our mains pressure gauge was our uh, water coming in from our garden tap supply. So quite a, a, a nifty unit um, designed to obviously get you into locations and your window cleaning where you don't have water. Uh, this particular system is pushing about 15 mega ohms. So the purity of this and the running costs on this particular system are absolutely outstanding. So anywhere in Australia, even with TDS levels, on the west coast, uh, six and seven hundred, uh, this thing will handle it quite well. In those conditions, we'd probably put a softener in front of it uh, to pull some calcium and lime, but an awesome grunty machine. The van ports on the side, you know, our water in and our reject water out for our RA system, and our two van ports there for our water-fed poles, which are going to hose reels. If you didn't know what else we do, uh, portable RA units, Treons, Quattros, 
uh, soft wash equipment, uh, the skids. We do lots of parts, lots of accessories, coal V4s, hose reels which have just hit, other skids, 12 volt, um, also the new 24 volt soft wash pumps have just landed. Lots of different accessories, do bucket loads of pressure cleaning gear, proportioners alike. Nilfesk, floor care, sky vac, electric, the mighty interceptors which are very popular here in Australia. Uh, water fed poles galore and all the accessories. I uh, just wanted to yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully you got a, a good understanding of this particular, well, I call it a van mounted system, but in this case a trailer mounted system, uh, which has got awesome amount of grunt uh, for all different applications. So commercial window cleaning, we could hook it up to the solar tech brush, which I didn't mention, so um, which would open up the commercial aspect of carrying water into solar farms alike. Uh, residential window cleaning, car detailing, fleet washing um, and probably quite a few others if we had a few more minutes. But do check out our new website which is bluetongueindustries.com.au so you can see all this and all the other products that we do sell on that particular website here in Australia. And uh, once again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.